Hello everyone, I thought I'd do a video on this Jehovah's Witness publication, this songbook here, Sing to Jehovah. As you can see, there's two copies there. And both look exactly alike, although there is a difference, which we'll get to in a moment. Now, there's a lot of controversy that surrounds this songbook, the, the earlier printing. And a lot of people are probably aware of it, but I think there's a lot of people out there today that may not have come across this, so I thought it would make this short video just to highlight it and just discuss the controversy. One was published in, first published in 2009, and then the later one was reprinted in 2010. Both look exactly the same when you turn the back over. Again, both look exactly the same at first glance. But then you see that this gentleman here has been replaced in the later edition with this gentleman. Why would that be, you ask? Everyone else is exactly the same. Well, if you look closely at this black gentleman here, this is with the controversy generated around. His arm, some people have suggested here, looks like an erect penis. And oddly, his, his eyes are focused on this young girl here. Whereas everyone else is either looking down or looking ahead. But he's looking that way. It is very strange. And once you see it, you can't unsee it, really. <laughs> you really can't. And, you know, it, it's very odd as well, coupled with the fact that there's a lot of child sex, sexual abuse that has gone on in the Watchtower organisation over the years. And that their policies have even contributed towards protecting these abusers as well, which is absolutely shocking and shameful. So for something like this to be on the back of this publication, it just the mind boggles. You know, what on earth is going on? Was it a genuine mistake? I mean, what do you think, guys? Are people seeing things that are just not there? Or is there a, a more sinister reason for it? People often use the expression, don't they? Hidden in plain sight. And <laughs> I had someone, one of the artists at the Watchtower organization is having some kind of sick joke but he genuinely didn't know what it looked like and he was purely innocent and it was just a, a, an unfortunate <laughs> picture which shouldn't have been there um, was quickly removed or you know is there some sort of spiritual reason for it I mean I as a Christian you know do believe that there's demonic reasons for things, and uh, yet demons certainly can't help but be hidden in plain sight in their works. But, yeah, I mean, this is just the tip of the iceberg. I mean, you could say, oh, it's just a one-off. It's just coincidental. It just looks like it. But there's absolutely loads of crazy subliminal messages and hidden twisted pictures within Jehovah's Witness literature which a lot of people who are far cleverer than me and far more studious than me have pointed out over the years so I definitely encourage you if you're interested in this subject to to look into it just do a simple google search look up watchtower subliminal images hidden messages, that kind of thing. Some people see things, I think, which are really not there. You know, you can see things in anything, really, can't you? If you look hard enough, you can you can see images, faces and strange things in the clouds or in the curtains, if you look hard enough. And I think some people see things that are just not there, but there's other things that people have pointed out which are just so clear. And you've got to ask yourself, why are the artists of the Watchtower Society putting these strange images in their publications? What on earth is going on? Okay, folks, that's 
for this video. It'd be interested to see your comments. And I'll see you next time. Take care and God bless.